Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we're coming up on the end of the mandatory stay at home orders. COVID-19 is still roaming around killing people though. Anyway, that's not what this, this video is about. This video is about scooters. But as you saw in that last scooter video that I did, I mounted the, the super bright headlight on the, the Challenger X. Well, I actually have done the same thing on the, the triad and those those suckers are bright they push out a lot a light they push light out real far but what I'm finding is that it's a it's kind of a narrow cone so I don't get a whole lot of pre-fuel light it's pretty much just straight on out in front and I was doing a, an evening run here in the neighborhood the other night and I was kind of surprised and I came up on a uh, person walking and I, I didn't see them. They weren't wearing uh, bright clothes. So uh, I've been thinking, you know, what, what can I do to improve that, that vision? And wouldn't you know, uh, a company reached out to me and asked me to do a, a, a review on, uh, on a product. Actually, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. It must, they must have seen one of my other videos where I was talking about the lights. So they asked me to choose one of their light products. And so this is what I've, I'm, I'm working with today. I'm going to mount this light bar on the front of the triad here. And I'm going to have it separately or, or switched, kind of like a high beam, low beam setup, as I've done with the Challenger. So I'm going to put a, a handlebar switch up here and mount that right there. Or here, mount it here somewhere. We'll see how it works out the best. So here we go with it. It occurs to me that I have not uh, walked y'all through the installation or, or how I've mounted these, these baskets. So, so the Challenger, when you buy the Challenger, it comes with a plastic basket that's just mounted right there. And you might be able to carry uh, your cell phone in it. It, it doesn't have a, a whole lot of, uh, there's not a lot of strength. Now the triad, when you receive it, it comes with, with this basket. And there are actually some spring type struts that connect to here. Now this, this is a shock. So if you have your basket bracket attached to the lower shock portion, it's gonna flex. And you couldn't hardly hold anything in that basket anyway, just kind of small. So I jumped on Amazon and I found this basket and then I fabricated a mounting system. As you, I can, you can see here, so I put a steel plate in the back of the basket to give it some strength and then an aluminum plate in the front. Two aluminum plates on the bottom of the basket connect to a piece of angle iron that has a U-bolt. And that way you, you end up with a very sturdy basket. And you, I've actually carried this basket full of firewood. And I've just installed that because where the headlight is mounted, I get a lot of glare on that aluminum. So that's the basket mount. Now let's get to the light mount on the basket. For this little project, here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need, of course, the, the light. And this light is from Z Moon, Z Moon. And it is actually a 14 inch light bar. And you'll be able, to, all of this stuff will be on my Amazon influencer page. Down, down there in the description, you shall find a link 
and I have a page on the Amazon influencer just for scooter stuff. So I'll put that in the, the scooter stuff page. The, this is the Zimoon 14 inch LED light bar and it actually comes equipped with a little installation kit. Uh, it's got some brackets, but I don't, I'm not gonna be using those. You may need them, but for this project, I'm not gonna need them. A light switch to go on the handlebars. Gonna need some aluminum. I'm gonna use a one inch or three quarter inch aluminum flat stock. And then some various bolts and nuts and washers. I'm gonna need a drill, a tape measure. I will need a screwdriver and something to back up those nuts when I tighten it down. Uh, most likely I'll be using a nut driver for that. We'll see. Of course, you know, a crescent wrench, an adjustable wrench will work just fine as well. Something like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the tape measure and figure out exactly how and where I'm going to mount the light on the front of the basket. So let's get to that. So I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of having that aluminum bar stock sitting on top of that. That way, when we're, we're vibrating on rough roads, we're not gonna be slipping up and down. So the plan is to, to sandwich, like I've sandwiched here. You'll see I have a, a piece of steel and a piece of, of aluminum. I'm just gonna cut a piece of, of the aluminum stock so I can sandwich those bars. Um, and because I do throw firewood in this basket, I don't want to mount it way up here. And it would simplify things greatly if I could find a sweet spot where I can just put it in there like that. Oh! So for putting that there, So it looks like a 10 inch piece of aluminum bar stock will work good. So I need two 10 inch pieces and then the sandwich piece, probably seven inches. We'll go with seven inches. So we're gonna do a two tens and instead of seven, I'm gonna go to eight. That way I've got a little room to play with. All right, so let's, let's go cut some metal. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna use the Saber saw, the battery powered Roy B. Saber saw. <laughs> So the idea is going to be something like this. So, now this has got cooling fins back here, so we want that to go down. So 
So, what happens if I go down here? I'm thinking. Oh. <clears throat> I'm thinking, and that's a dangerous thing. That is a perfectly snug fit right there. And that would give me, that would actually work better. That way I can adjust it up and down. Cool. So that's what we're gonna do. So the next thing is for me to drill some holes so I can get my sandwich on either side and then I need to put holes there. So I'm gonna sculpt those corners, round that off, make it look a little more presentable. I'm gonna drill holes here, holes here, and holes here. And if necessary, I can come back and do another one in the middle, but I, I shouldn't because I'm resting on top of this bar uh, and up is going out. So, oh, I forgot to turn the camera on. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna round off the edge where the, the light bar will attach. go together. So we're going to put it in place. So I'm going to mount the switch now, and that's, it's basically just a clamp. It takes an Allen wrench to open that up. So there we have it. Cool! We are switched! Now we just got to splice it all together. Doing a little soldering here on the wiring harness. Now I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I don't do this very much, so I'm, I'm learning as I go. There's probably a better way to do this than what I'm doing here, but Rabbi Jesus is not here to teach me. Well, I'm done. Uh, the tedious process of putting the wiring harness back together is complete. So here we are in the dark garage. Not sure how well that's gonna show up, but we'll, 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 we'll see. So there's the regular headlight. 
and we'll point it over here so you get a better idea with all the junk hanging on the wall. All right, here we go. Now until I, I get out and try it at night, I won't know, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do what I need it to do, which is light up the sides a little better. All right, the sun has gone down, and as you can see, outside it is quite dark. So we're gonna go out here and we're gonna get an idea of how well this new light works on the scooter in the dark. This is just with the, the normal, the new normal headlight, the new normal. All right, and here it is with the light bar. Yeah, man. We need to angle that up a little bit. There we go. No light bar, light bar. How cool is that? Hope better. There you have it. The new light bar on Little Red. Little Red all lit up now. <laughs> that way I brought it out here it's the next day, but I wanted you to be able to see it in daylight because it's not, you know, that, that obtrusive looks very sleek, if you will. I was very, very pleased with the performance last night. I, I am an Amazon affiliate and I do earn a little, resi little income if you make a purchase through that link down in the description and all of that money goes to the channel buying equipment and paying for campsite fees and whatnot so your shop in there really helps me out doesn't cost you any additional money to purchase on Amazon through my link so if you're interested in any of the the switch or the light bar the basket all of that can be found on the influencer page identified by scooter stuff Hey, if you enjoyed this, I appreciate you, you clicking on the thumbs up and sharing it with your sphere of influence on social media. If you've not already, and this is your first time to Dude RV, and you've not already subscribed, hey, I'd appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell as well. I produce new videos every Sunday morning. Uh, and on Thursdays, when I have something not camping, I go live with those videos. For those of you who've been following along, hey, man, I am so honored. And we're gonna be back out in the camps in the, we're gonna be able to get back out on the state parks here soon. Uh, and I've still got a couple more videos coming for state parks before we get to now. <laughs> so I'm back in pre-lockdown on YouTube time. Uh, and this is now. We're right here at the end of what April? We're at the end of April, about to be May. Beautiful sunshine, starting to get hot. That's the way I like it. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Y'all come back now. You hear?